<coughs> Stop number four on the Castrol GTX Cup Series brings us to Hotlanta, Atlanta Motor Speedway. So we're right here today on this 1.522 mile racetrack here, the old version of Atlanta that is. I'm here, of course, if you know me, I'm not running the, I'm never going to be running the new Atlanta ever, ever as far as, um, as long as I do my series. But anyway, um, but we're here today for the running of the Motorcraft 500. We're set for 50 laps of action on this racetrack here today. And here's the starting lineup for today's race. On the pole, it is Jessica Shelton, the first time pole, first pole of the season for her. Qualifying at 184 miles an hour. Qual number nine, Coors Melling Ford. She's alongside number 88 cars and all girl front row. As a matter of fact, Laura Chung sits alongside of her. Number 88, Crisco Pontiac. Second row, actually, make that three ladies who swept the top three spots in qualifying. That number 90 car is Kat Batson, the number 90 Ford. She's alongside number 55, Harrison Potter, who won the last time he was here at Atlanta in the close of last season. Number 55, Skull Crown Oldsmobile. Third row has number has an 8500 champion, Rafael Duke, the number 7 Xerix Antifreeze Ford. He's alongside number 2, Dylan Young, the Pepsi Pontiac, in the alongside in the row number 3. Dylan has one of our three in-car cameras, as does Jessica Shelton for that fact as well, too. Fourth row, Phil Parker, who won the last race on the tour at Richmond. Number five, Levi Garrett Chevrolet. He's alongside number 52, Seth Cole, the Alka Seltzer Pontiac, set the former winner here. <coughs> Fifth row has number 28, Keith Batson, the Texaco Haviland Ford, and number 26, Quaker State Buick of Joshua Osborne, driving, driving a Sabre. In this race here, we'll, we'll explain that story here as this race goes on. It's early stages. Next row down is number 94. That is the car of of um, Dylan Poti, the Sunoco Ultra Oldsmobile, and number four Kodak Film Oldsmobile is alongside us. That's William Brock. Next row down is number 21, Benjamin Miles, who won at Rockingham, the Sitco Ford, and number 29 is alongside the Hardy's, Hardy's Pontiac, Zachary Fitzwater. Next row down is number 27, Nathan Orman, the Kodiak Pontiac, and number, and number 57, that is Charles Sanford, the, the Heinz catch up Pontiac. He's alongside. Charles has our third in-car camera. Uh, next one down is number 43, Mike Becker in the STP Pontiac. And number 42, one number down is Kyle Matthews, the PK Freeze Pontiac. Next one down is Quentin Moore, 75, the Valvoline Pontiac. And number three, Cole Deaver in the GM Goodrich Chevrolet. Next one down is number eight. That is the... Or no, that's... Next one down has the number... Um, 84 car, excuse me, that's Austin Reed in the Miller American, in Miller High Life Pony, Miller High Life Buick, and Jackson Haywood's alongside number 15, the Motorcraft Ford, is alongside. Next one down has number 25, Colin Cropley, the Folger Chevrolet, and beside him will, will be the number 8 car of Ryan Brommer in the Miller High Life Pontiac, or Miller High Life Buick, excuse me. Sorry on that one. Next one down is number 71, Nathan Hudson in the Lifebuoy Chevrolet. And number 11, Noah Sewell in the Boazer Ford. Next one down is number 17, Michael Whitman in the, the Tide Chevrolet. And then beside him, number 33, Amanda Evans, who is fastest in happy hour in the Skull Bandit Oldsmobile. Next one down is number 73, that is Daniel Bouchard. And number 30, Allison Rain, the Country Time Pontiac. Next one down is Eric Monica, the Copenhagen Oldsmobile. Number 14, and number 66, Chevrolet of James Henry. Next row down is number 83, Stephen Cologne, the Bullseye Barbecue Sauce Oldsmobile, and number 70, Rumpel Furniture AC Spark Deluxe Pontiac of, da of um, Daniel Voiles. Next row down is number 16, Alexander Rowe, the Chattanooga Chew Buick, and number 16, and number 6, Sherlight Ford of Mitchell Hodak. Next row down is num and the start starting shotgun is number 10, Caleb Bugler, and number 89, Cement Oscon. That's your starting, that's your starting field for today's running. Of the Motorcraft 500. Both the land races here, of course, this week, this season, are 50 laps of racing here today. Uh, of course, of course, why is Joshua Osborne in the, in the Sabre, in the Sabre, that Quaker State car, you might ask, instead of a Regal? Welp, he wrecked his Regal in Happy Hour just before, uh, actually, actually wrecked his Regal in practice and then had to get the Sabre out for qualifying. So that's why Joshua is in a Buick the Sabre body car. It's an 87 model Buick. It's an 89 Regal. That should be ladies and gentlemen start your engines because I actually have top three qualifiers are all ladies. That's the thing here. 
in Atlanta. As the base car race is going off a pit road, we'll be back for the starting. We'll be back for the, for the race. Green flag here will be after this. <coughs> Through the third and fourth turns here at Atlanta Motor Speedway here. The field is about to get set for racing here today. As they come off turn number four here, Ford and Pontiac has the front row. Pontiac has the front row here. Jessica Shelton, car number nine. Laura Chung in 88. Pace car is on the pit road here. 55 miles, not 55 miles an hour pit road speed limit here, by the way. As the pace car, as the as the field anticipates a green flag, and they get it. We're going racing here in Atlanta. Jessica Shelton gets the jump, gets the early jump here. So they come off turn number two here. Laura Chung get, got did get quite a good start here as Shelton did here. As here comes Cat Matson to the low side, number 90. As they come off turn number four, it's gonna be ladies first and second, maybe, because here comes Rafaela Duke to the low side for second position here. Shelton leads at number one here as Chung, I should say. Batson had second position. Now here comes number seven. That is Rafaela Duke. He'll look to the low side. He'll take second position away from Cat Batson. Maybe taking the lead here from Shelton. Possibly going to turn number three. Phil Parker right there behind Bats or behind Leduc here, and, and another Batson, Keith Batson, car number twenty-eight to the low side. Er, of Laura Chung, maybe down to the low side, possibly of his wife, Cat. Now, possibly as they go through turns number one and two, LeDuc and Shelton still deadlock side by side here as they come up the second turn here. It's safe. It looks like a, looks like a 180 mile an hour pace lap here we're seeing here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. You'll see lap speeds upwards of 185 miles an hour plus here as LeDuc leads his first lap of the race here. His last lap, 187.029 miles an hour. And that's faster than what they qualified. The pole speed was 184. On this racetrack here, as now here comes Phil Parker. He's going to take the lead here. Parker won a three-way winner, so we've had some part of season here. He won at Richmond, the last race in the tour. But Keith Batson looking to extend the, the streak of... Maybe having four winners in the first four races, four races of the season here, but now Bass is getting stuck in the sucker hole in the middle. Because here comes Dylan Poteet. It's going to make a three wide for the lead, and he's got it. As he takes that blue Sunoco Oldsmobile to the top spot now. And Bass in a very vulnerable position here as he goes to the third, fourth turns, third turns now. He's hoping that car does not get loose, and that's easy, and that's easy said than done here as they come out to number four here. And now Benjamin Miles in the second position. Now here comes the 27 car of Nathan Ormond. And Miles not only gets the spot from Batson, but also shoots to the leader over Poteet for the time being. But And Benjamin Miles goes to the top spot now that he won this race last season. One of two races Benjamin won last season. But here, but here comes Ormond. He says, no way, Benjamin I'm going to lead this lap here at Atlanta, and he does. And now you got three wide, three rows deep here at Atlanta. This is, I tell you, they're not playing here, here, in, the, here in this early stages of this race. It looks like, it looks like something you'll see on the last laps of the race, not the first laps of the race here. And now Mike Becker's going to make a three wide in the third, third turns three and four now. Speed shot. That's what that's what that's what 185 miles an hour looks like coming right by ya. And who led the last time by? I think it was Benjamin Miles who led the last time by on that number 21 car. Yes, it was. And but now Mike Becker has to leave. But here comes Quentin Moore. 75 car and Quentin wants to lead the first lap of the race. His first lap of the race, and he does. Austin Reed, the 84 car, give a call to him. That gold Buick to the low side. He's got second position now, and he's looking for his. Good, looking for a good run here after a subpar start of the season here. And now Austin Reed drove the six car last season, and of course it was um, 
had some decent runs in some races in the last half of the season. Hopes to carry that momentum into this season here. And so far, it's not panned out the way he wants it. And he leads his first lap of the race here, the number, number 84 car. But he's going to lose the lead now to Colin Cropley, possibly in that number 25 car. That maroon-colored Chevrolet. And he and Austin just about touch here. Now, Quentin Moore is now hung up to the hazard, as is Becker and Miles as well, too. And also Poteet in the 94 car. And Dylan Young to the left side, number two to the to the inside. You're on board with Dylan Young in car number two. Off the second turn here, he's going to take the lead away from Cropley now as they come off the second turn. 187 miles an hour. You're riding inside inside speed wise. And here comes Nathan Hudson to the left side. He's going to shoot to the lead now over Young. And there, and he's going to lead. He's, he leads that. He leads for, for now, but not, but not for long. Because here comes number seventeen, Michael Whitman, and twenty nine car of Zachary Fitzwater. Amanda Evans is in this mix well too, and the number thirty three machine. And here comes number. Here comes. Here comes two of the best in this series as well, too. They're right there behind Evans. That's Kyle Matthews and Cole Deaver. Two former Atlanta winners themselves here. Deaver, you know, like to pick up like to, like to pick up another win in his home state of Georgia. Oh, he's actually more closer to Daytona than he is Atlanta, actually. If that gives you any it gives you any idea. Who Deaver and Batson just about touched through the third and fourth turns. Now as they come off the fourth turn, and Zachary Fitzwater is going to, lead, going to take the lead. But here comes Amanda Evans in 33 to the low side, and Amanda's going to try to try to take the Harry Gant cars. We're talking about. Let's remember that's the same cars that Harrison Ponder won with last season, in the last in the finale of this in the season 32 finale on this very same track. Except in that time it was a Chevrolet instead of an Oldsmobile, but as they go through turns in three and four now, as they count, Evans may lead that may lead her first lap of the race here as they come off turn number four, and she will here and now side by side for second position, maybe side by side three wide for the lead here because here comes Matthews, and he's going to get the push from Cole Deaver in the number three car, and and here and Matthews is going to take the lead by about a bumper for the time being off turn number two. Matthew's leading, Matthew's leading his first lap of the race here. But here comes car number three, the Dale Earnhardt colors, Cole Deaver. GM Goodrich Chevrolet has the inside lane now on, Ma on Matthews. And here comes Keith Batson to the low side of Matthews for second position there. That's, that's three wide for second place, I should say here. And Fitzwater just about took that, took that lap, lap away from Deaver. He almost did. That was very close to the line between those front two cars. And Keith Batson wants to lead that. He's lapping in. Whoa, Austin Reed got very loose here as they come off to number four. This is going to be. Oh, and problems on turn number two. Or turn number four here. Caution flag flies for the first time here today, and a big mess coming on the front stretch. Charles Sanford got through here. Harrison Ponder was in it. Joshua Osborne was in it. Cat Batson was in the crash. Rafael Duke, we saw him flip off turn number four. There's Ponder in the 55 car. Back in all torn up on that crown on that crown skull Osmobile. Take a look as to what happened, and, I, and of course I don't have to tell you. It all started with it all started with Rafael Duke, um, Dylan Young, and the 17 of Michael Whitman. 
But they got into Young right there, and then right across the Young's nose, right, and, right, and look at look at Leduc right there, and gets in, gets goes upside down. Young tries to save it, but goes right into the thirty-three of Amanda Evans, and everybody else gets involved there. Nathan Hudson gets involved. Bouchard was involved. Here comes Osborne. Good driving right there on the part of both of the 11 of Noah Sewell and the 57 of Charles Sanford. Question is who gets in, who got damaged and who didn't? <clears throat> 66 car had a little bit of a scrape here. Poti, I think he's clean. Seth Cole's got a little bit of a scrape. I think Shelton's okay. And same with Jackson Haywood in the 15. There's the Eric Monaco. He gets through. 89 car cement. Oscon gets through. Well, we're gonna have we're gonna have, have interesting in-car camera shots right there on this whole deal there as we'll ride first with Dylan Young. On board Dylan Young's car. Almost too soon with the throw right there for Dylan Young right there as he saw Kat Batson and Harrison Ponder get together. Charles Sanford's point of view. Heads great heads up driving on the part of Charles Sanford to make it to navigate his way through the crash. And from Jessica Shelton's vantage point. So and there you see what Shelton's um, viewpoint. You saw what Shelton's viewpoint looks like right now here. As they are about to get the, I think they just got the one to go signal. Yes, they had the the, the one. They got the one to go. So we're gonna get the green flag here on lap number twenty two. We're we're at lap twenty one right now. We're set the field for you here. It's Cole Deaver who's leading this race here. Car number three, the GM Goodwin Chevrolet. Second is Keith Batson. Third is Kyle Matthews. Fourth position right now is Stephen Cologne. Caleb Fogler with a nice run. So far running, running in fifth position. The number 10, Pure Leader Pontiac. Excuse me. Daniel Boyles is sixth. Seventh is Zachary Fitzwater. Eighth is Austin Reed. Ninth is Nathan Orman. Tenth is Laura Chung. 11th is Ryan Brommer. Colin Cropley is 12th. 13th is, is Quentin Moore. 14th is Mike Becker. 15th, Benjamin Miles. 16th, Allison Rain. 17th is Amanda Evans. 18th is William Brock. Charles Sanford is 19th, and Noah Sewell runs in 20th position. The cars that are out of the race so far are as follows here. Nathan Hudson with a camshaft failure. Cat uh, Batson... Out, with a, out because of that crash here. Dylan Pote had a header failure on his number 94 Sunoco Oldsmobile. Uh, Michael Whitman and Rafael Duke both had a race because of the crash as well, too. And boy, what a ride Rafael Duke took well, as well, coming off turn number four. The green flag flies here, and Cole Deaver took off like John Force on that start. That was a, cool, that was a darn good restart that Deaver pulled on Keith Batson. Problem is, though, the draft uh, behind everybody else, so. Deaver maybe a sitting duck down the back stretch. It sounds like, sounds like we're racing at Daytona and Talladega, which actually we're not. It's, a, it's Atlanta. 
and the draft is is effective on some of the on trucks like this and uh, trucks like this Michigan and some of the others we go to we're going to go to as the season progresses. The draft is effective there as it is at Daytona and Talladega as well too. But anyway, 33 cars are running in this race here so far, and all of them are still on the lead lap. And now Keith Batson takes the 20 at Texaco Havlin Ford in the top spot. But here comes Kyle Matthews to the left side in that red and blue in that red and blue 42. Matthews dives low. Is he going to lead that lap over Batson? Yes, he will. So Kyle Matthews gets five bonus points for leading a lap now. Of course, at any given season in, in the Castrol GTX Cup Series, you get um, five points for leading a lap and five additional bonus points for leading the most laps in a, in a given race here. And we've seen quite a few times where, the, where two drivers have led the most laps and both of them got the five extra bonus points for doing so. And, ooh, who's going to lead this lap between the 42 and 28 cars there? Batson's got the high side to the advantage here. That was darn close. That was Batson. Well, I'll tell you what, that, if that would have been the finish, I'd have lost it. Oh, my gosh. Look at the margin there between those front two cars. Zero, zero, zero between the 28 and the 42 cars. And they gave the credit to Batson for leading that lead lap here. Now, Matthews may pull ahead to lead his second lap of the race here, possibly, but... Come on, turn number four here. Batson's got the high lines of his advantage once again here, but this time it's Matthews who's now on top now as he leads the halfway lap, 25 down, 25 to go here. And I tell you, Atlanta seldom disappoints when it comes to this series. It seldom disappoints. We may be in for another great race here today on this on this racetrack here as here comes Cole Deaver now to the low side. He's got the push from Caleb Fogler in the 10 machine now as they come through turns number three and four. And now is it going to be Deaver or Matthews leading this lap here? Matthews to the outside. He saw Batson work. He saw it work for Batson against him a couple laps ago. Not this time though. Deaver led that time that time by. But Kyle's got that kind of bulldog tenacity. He does not want to give up. At, he does not give up at all. Now. Batson trying to figure out who he wants to work with here between Matthews or Deaver. Here's the come on to number four. Driver is this time by us now. And again, it's Matthews who leads that lap over Cole Deaver. They come off to number four. And now three wide is Caleb Fogler's now the one in the sucker hole in the middle. Car number 10. There you see the there you see the field right there through turns number three and four here. Now Nathan Ormond pushes uh Fogler up the middle. Up the high side, I should say. Riding inside with Charles Sanford, car number 57. He was one of those guys that made it through that big crash on the front stretch here. And now is in the is in, and now is in the lead pack. Up ahead of him is Mike Becker in the in the STP machine. Eighty three car that is the car of Stephen Cologne. Seventy car of Daniel Voiles. The ten of Caleb Fugler. All of them contesting for that top spot here. Thirty laps are about to be completed in the books here. This time, Bio will be down to twenty laps remaining in the Motorcraft 500 here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. That's what it looks like on the racetrack right now. Here's they go into turn number one here, and Allison Rain decides who doesn't know who she wants to go with here. She'll go as she. Tries to move inside of the 21 of Benjamin Miles here, but now William Brock shoves her up the track now as they come out turn number two. Now Miles moves to the low side inside of Ryan Brommer in the eight. And I see the problem right there. They caught the 26 car of Joshua Osborne a lap down here at number 33 and a 26 of Sheen. So that was the problem right there. They caught Osborne and now, and now, and now he's... Trolling all the lap cars, I guess you might say. 
I'm sure for Joshua, he doesn't mean to do so here, but but uh, all the rest of the drivers on the inside lane are saying, come on, Osborne, out of the way. We got, race to, we got a race to win. Again, Osborne driving a driving an 87 LeSabre body style right here as, as he crashed the Regal and Happy in practice. Going into the backup car here for this race here. Now, they'll be running the... Uh, and I think they'll be running... They'll save this car, obviously, in case they crash the Regal at Darlington, obviously, but which is next on the tour. But Joshua running 33rd right now, a lap down in this race here. I think he's... Yeah, he, he is. He is the first car lap down here, and and now here and now everybody else goes to the inside and says, "Good riddance, 26." Well, most everybody else is going to say that here. Now Quentin Moore and Charles Sanders are going to be the ones stuck up behind the 26 car now too. Meantime, the rest of the field is caught up to Cole Deaver, who's, who meantime took the lead here. Here comes Keith Batson, Kyle Madisoner, and Caleb Fogler running in top five right now. As we mentioned, he was running fifth on the restart here. He's now in fourth position. Well, will make that fifth now. Stephen Colon gets by him. Colon, who won last season at Pocono, his first race at Pocono last season, looking for his second career victory in this series. Chevrolet in first, Ford in second, Pontiac third, Oldsmobile in fourth, Pontiac's fifth and sixth now behind them. Austin Reed, or I should say Ryan Brummer, the first Buick in the field running in seventh position. Eighth is Allison Rain in a Pontiac. Zachary Fitzwater also in the Pontiac running in ninth, and Colin Cropley running in tenth position in a Chevrolet. Nathan Orman in a Pontiac running in eleventh, twelfth position, about a pair of Pontiacs here. That is Laura Chung and Kyle, or I should say Mike Becker, excuse me, on that one. Then the Ford of Benjamin Miles right there behind him, running in 14th position. Miles winner this season at Rockingham. Off the second turn now, you're on board with Jessica Shelton. The number 94, number 90, or, or, or I should say the number 9, Core Smelling Ford. Running right there behind Jackson Haywood in the Motorcraft Ford. And the number 4 car of William Brock, the Kodak film Oldsmobile. And they have caught up to that lead pack right now. They're trying to, I should say. So they may be in for a heck of a shootout here. As the race as the race is now progresses down to its last laps of this, to the waning moments of this event here. Quentin Moore right there behind the 75 car running right now in the let's see where he's running this time by. Quentin in the in 22nd position here. Shelton up ahead of him in 21st. And now Benjamin Miles is stuck up is stuck up behind right here as as now. Several cars that actually <clears throat> now we got a whole new ball game up front right here. Where we saw with all, with all this focusing on position, we we're seeing right here. Ryan Brommer has now taken a lead car number eight here. Brommer has not yet won in a series before, believe it or not. Brommer's won a couple times before in the Melly Yellow in the Melly Yellow Racing Series event here. That's my Xfinity Series body, in case you don't know. In case you don't know. Orman right there behind the second position here. The, uh, I should say second car in line in the inside groove. It's going to push Zachary Fitzwater to the top spot now in 29 car. And, and Fitzwater now leads with, lap, with now 10 laps to go. 153.81 miles an hour. The average speed so far after 40 laps. And the fastest lap race so far set by Stephen Colon at 188.717 miles an hour. But Fitzwater not giving up on the outside lane here as he gets back around Ormond. And he leads that lap here. We saw that we saw Keith Batson do that just a couple a few minutes ago. 
And that outside lane there, and some people don't realize the high, high line, of course, is we, I know we say this every time we go to tracks like this, but the high line, yes, maybe the longest way around the track here, but it also gives you more momentum and more, more momentum and more straightaway speed. That's why you're able to sometimes beat somebody on the inside lane on the outside here on, on tracks like Atlanta, Charlotte, places like that. And this being a non-restrictor plate type, type track here, or, Unlike uh, unlike tracks like Daytona or Talladega, you know, it all it all comes into play. But now Nathan Ormond, number twenty seven to the low to the low side, he's got the lead here with Cole Deaver in second position here, and now you got a pair of those Miller High Life cars here, the eight of Ryan Brommer and the eighty four of Austin Reed. Two cars out of the Stabolo Brothers stable here. Can those two cars maybe pull up a team? One, two, find out possibly here. Not out. It's not out of the. It's not out of the. It's not out of question here. But here as they go through turns number three and four, they are right up there in the top five right now. Trying to push the three car of Cole Deaver. As Orman leads now with six laps to go. Daniel Voiles, a 70 car, he begins to roll to the low side now. Here comes Laura Chung, Benjamin Miles, Colin Cropley. Who's that behind Cropley there? That's Jackson Haywood in the 15 car. Um, Quentin Moore, 75 machine. And now Alexander Rowe and Jessica Shelton hooking up now to the low side now. The 16 and the 9 cars. All getting themselves in a the position. That's the name of the game here in these last few laps of this race. And, and they don't have much to go here. We'll be down to four to go this time by for Nathan Orman. Cole Deaver, low summer second position on the 29 of Fitzwater. Does not get it that time by. <clears throat> Three Pontiacs, a Chevrolet, and two Buicks in, the, in, that, in, that, in that front six cars. And they throw another Pontiac in there. Throw another Pontiac in there. The seventy car, Daniel Voiles. Off the four turn. Here comes Deaver for the lead. That completed the forty seventh lap of this race. Here we're now down to three laps remaining. Car 27, Nathan Orman. Car number 3, Cole Deaver. Backstretch, they come now. Side by side. Punic high side, Chevy low side. You got you got five Pontiacs on the high side lane. You got a Chevy, two Buicks, a Pontiac, and a Ford on the low side. And oh, Brommer about made it three wide to the low side. Through turns number one and two. Deaver floors are throwing that good run. Chevrolet, he now got Hills a top spot now. Now what's Ryan Brommer going to do? He's, he's going to peek to the low side now on Deaver down the back stretch. This is going to be one doozy of a finish here. We're, going to, we're coming down for the white flag this time by for Cole Deaver. Car number three. White flag waves one lap remaining. Who wins in Atlanta? Ryan Brommer has the outside lane here. Now, what's he going to do off the second turn? He make it. Ah, you know, uh, lap traffic is up ahead of this. May cost. This may be a benefactor here. <clears throat> actually, lap traffic. Actually, lap traffic. Lap traffic. Traffic may be a the deciding factor here. As they come on turn number four here. Off the fourth turn, they come here. As they come to the start finish line. And to and checker fly waves. Cole Deaver wins the Motorcraft 500 in Atlanta. I thought the way they were getting on those lap cars, I thought it was going to be a factor on the final lap of this race here, but it turned out it wasn't. One more lap, and it would have been a factor. That was for darn sure. But for Cole Deaver, the number three GM Goodwrench Chevrolet picks up its first victory of the season as the Goodwrench, as the GM Goodwrench team does it does it today here in Atlanta. And Deaver, of course, being and of course this is of course this is of course Deaver's home state, the state of Georgia.
as he gets his second Atlanta victory here. Average speed, 158.867. Rest of the finishers for you here today here. Ryan Brommer, how about him? He finishes second in today's race here. The great day for the number eight team. Nathan Orman also quickly comes home in second and third position. Austin Reed in the 84. He'll end up finishing in fourth position. Fifth will go to Zachary Fitzwater. Sixth to Daniel Voyle. Seventh position will go to Benjamin Miles. Eighth to Allison Rain. Ninth will go to, to William Brock. And Kyle Matthews will finish in tenth position. <coughs> So four races are in the books on the season here, and we have got, we've still got 27 of these things left to go here. Darlington is next on the tour for the running of the Dodge Challenger 500. Here's the rest of the finishing order for you here in today's race here. Finishing in uh, 11th position will be Quentin Moore. 12th will go to Laura Chung. 13th, Stephen Cologne. 14th, Mike Becker. Caleb Bogor, 15th. Colum Cropley comes home in 16th position. 17th, 17th will go to Alexander Rowe. 18th, Eric Monaco. 19th, Charles Samper. And 20th will be Jackson Haywood. 21st, Keith Batson. 22nd will go to Mitchell Hodak. Noah Sewell, 23rd. 24th will go to Amanda Evans. Seth Cole, 25th. Then Samit Oscon, 26th. Then James Henry, Daniel Bouchard. Um, Dylan Young and Phil Parker, the top 30 in today's race here. Harrison Ponder, the car's... So thirty cars. So thirty cars finished on the lead lap here. Three cars finished a lap or more down. That's that would be Harrison Ponder in the thirty-one car, or Harrison Ponder fifty-five. He'll finish one lap down. Joshua Osborne also a lap down in twenty-six car, and Jessica Shelton had, pro had a problem late in the going. She ends up finishing two laps down in thirty-third position, but she is the last car to finish this race here today. Uh, cars finish out of the race here again. Nathan Hudson, Kat Batson, Dylan Poteet, Michael Whitman, and Raphael LaDuke. So that will do here today at Atlanta Motor Speedway here. For, here if you, here. Congratulations once again to Cole Deaver, the winner in today's Motorcraft 500. If you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to the Internet Series Sports and Gaming Channel. We got everything we got everything on this channel. We got in our races, races, we got gaming videos, we got in our online videos. Whatever the president of the NS, of the internet series, Seth Cole desires to have for his channel, be sure to check out Seth's Door Cell Cup series, the main series on his channel. <clears throat> and if you want in on future seasons of Seth's series, then be sure to get with Seth and he'll get you going. Also, be sure be sure to check out our, our check out our other two channels that does in the industry offline series. Those channels being X eight six seven five three nine eight five eight X. That's Dylan Young's channel, and the man who does the industry Spectrum Mobile Cup series. And also, be sure to check out our other two, our, our other interstellar offline channel, that channel being being Thrash Me 899, Levi McIntyre's channel, the man who does the interstellar Marvel Studios Cup series, and of course, as far as Dylan Young is concerned, he's not the his channel X eight six X eight six seven five three zero nine eight five X is not the only channel he's got, as he has collaborated with Kyle Matthews for another channel that, that they both do together. That would be the channel We the Coaster. So be sure to check out that channel as well too. For some good stuff as well. So that will do here today at Atlanta Motor Spirit here. For now, it's James Qualls. This has been a production of the Unit Series celebrating 10 years of offline racing. As best, we'll see you in Darlington for the Dodge Challenger 500.